Noah, um, 50 billion sounds like a lot, but put it into context for us. What is it as a percentage of Berkshire's total assets? Yeah, it's it's really just about 10 percent of Berkshire's assets, which is which is actually down from a decade ago. Because what what Warren Buffett has been doing is he's buy, been buying these uh, he's been buying railroad, he's been buying electric utilities, and that's really expanded the size of the balance sheet. Mm -hmm. But it's also expanded the earnings power of Berkshire. So what you're seeing is uh, every quarter Berkshire Hathaway is just generating a lot of money and Buffett as we all know sort of waits for the fat pitch he wants a really good investment when he's gonna buy a company when he's gonna invest in a stock he wants to make sure he's getting it at a good price so what we've seen recently uh, is that cash number really just climbing at his company it was at about 55 billion which is an all-time high on yeah. an absolute basis yeah. at the end of June now, during the last and after the financial last financial crisis, Buffett saw a lot of fat pitches, as you put it. He invested in Goldman Sachs and Bank of America and Dow Chemical. So what is he <clears throat> saying in terms of the prospect for another correction? What does he say about stock market valuations? Because given that we're at record highs, he wants to see things come down a little bit more, doesn't he? Right. It's, it's actually the funny thing. So, so we got these numbers uh, late on Friday, Berkshire uh, reported earnings. But for Berkshire, that's just a press release and their 10Q filing. We get a lot of data, but we don't get commentary mm -hmm. from Buffett. So really, we're just left to speculate. <clears throat> Uh, about what right. he's thinking about right now. What is his skill set of saying no to a deal? Mike Eisner once told me that the most important thing for a CEO is to say no. How does Warren Buffett say no to a potential transaction? Uh, I think he does it with sort of the grace and humor that he he uh, he, uh, he gets know, out of ukulele. And yeah, he probably gets starts singing knows. a song. Who knows? He but, the ears. But, but, no, no, but, no. but clearly, clearly, he has no problem saying no because uh, so many people are trying to get him interested in investments, and uh, we know just the free, from the frequency of them that he's he's not biting that often. Mm -hmm. Mary Ann, do you see any fat pitches out there? Well, we don't get to company specific, but we do look at the M&A cycle, and we're very bullish on the M&A cycle. It's picked up. The number of deals is very high, but when you look at the dollar volume, we're still way below 2007. What's really positive about this, right. it means that corporate America has confidence in order to do the deals. Is the confidence there in retail, Howard Davidovitz? No, they didn't know it isn't. There's not going to be a consolidation? Well, there is a consolidation. It's a scary thing because people can't compete. We have tremendous number of bankruptcies, closed doors, malls, and everything else. Right. Retailing is not strong because the consumer isn't strong. And I mean, Mr. Buffett started with a furniture store in Omaha, right? Oh, it's yeah, one that. of his earlier investments, <laughs> right? Yes. And, and he right. hates retail. And he hates retail? It's 2% of the business. He hates it, and he says it's troubled, Okay. quote, unquote.